and welcome back to Piggy's World. Today's video is going to be about me reacting to your assumptions about me and my guinea pigs. Before we get started, make sure you hit that subscribe button and hit that like button if you like watching guinea pig videos. So yeah, we are here with Dasher and we're gonna answer your assumptions. So let's get on with the video. So I have a little notebook here with everybody's assumptions because I am filming on my phone. All right, so our first assumption is from Petite Cavi and they said, you don't have a favorite piggy because you just love them all equally with their own characteristics and personalities. I do not have a favorite piggy. All my piggies are different. I do not have a favorite. They all have different personalities like you said and characteristics all about them. For example, Dasher is very sweet and she just likes to sit and hang out with you. Pebbles is very rambunctious, but she knows her name. She comes to you, it's very cute. Delilah, um, I have a very special bond with Delilah sometimes because when you have a sick piggy, you tend to take more care of them. So, you know, she has a very special place in my heart because she was sick. And Reese's is also very sweet. Reese's um, loves to cuddle with you, but she is also very shy. So they also said, you are the only one doing the cage cleaning because no one else does it the right way or the way you like. So I'm the only one that owns and takes care of my guinea pigs. Oh, you hear Dasher? Well, I am the one that takes care of my guinea pigs and owns them and takes the responsibility of like cleaning them, feeding them, and even to the point of taking um, them to the vets, I pay for all that myself. I am the only one doing the cage cleaning, but that's because they're my responsibility. Um, the next thing that they said was, you like shopping for stuff for your guinea pigs more than for yourself. Um, yes, that's true. I always, whenever I get my paycheck, I'm like, all right, what else can I buy the guinea pigs, you know? Yes, that, that is very true. Where are you going? The next assumptions are from Peanut and Chester. And they said, you've had other pets before guinea pigs. Yes, that is true. Um, when I was little, I had a cat named Shadow. And then he passed away at age six. He ended up with FIP. He wasn't eating or drinking or anything. So we had to put him down, sadly. But he was a very good cat. I, we also owned guinea pigs when we had him, too. So, yeah. And then a fish. I've owned fish. They said... You are always spot... Reese's. Reese's, please stop. I guess we're gonna have to continue with Reese's in the background. Um, she's drinking water. You are always spot cleaning cages. Yes. Um, I, I really am. Um, when you own multiple guinea pigs, they tend to poop a lot. And you want them to have a very clean cage. So, you don't want them sitting in their poop, you know, all day or whatever. So yes, I am always spot cleaning guinea pig cages. So they also said, you love your piggies. Um, yes, that is very true. Um, I have dedicated a whole YouTube channel towards my guinea pigs and teaching guinea pig owners how to take care of them right. So of course I love my piggies. And they also um, commented, um, why is Delilah separate? So if you go back to my previous videos, I had um, videos on about Delilah and why she's separate. But basically, I adopted Delilah from the daycare I worked at, and she really did not get along with the other ones. She's come a long way. Um, she used to be very nippy, very territorial. She didn't even know what another guinea pig was because she's never lived with another guinea pig before. When we adopted her, she was like three and a half. So, like, we've tried all different guinea pigs combining her with, and she just, even still to this day, she just doesn't match with them. I mean, she looks at them through the windows of the cages and stuff. She's curious about them, but she never really gets along with them. So I hope that answers your question. The next assumption, I am sorry if I pronounce this wrong, but from Shy Sun. And um, I love this one. Um, you secretly wish it were safe to take your piggies everywhere, just like dogs. Yes. I do wish I can take my guinea pigs wherever I can, just like dogs. Um, I actually took Dasher. Dasher's been the most places with me. Um, she she used to love car rides. I don't know. I haven't taken her in a car for a car ride in a while, but we used to go to like we went to Dunkin' Donuts. We by accident we went inside the grocery store. 
Um, Dasher, stop. She's very active today. Yeah, we've been a lot of different places, so. Yes, I, I wish my guinea pigs were dogs. <laughs> I would bring them to school if I could. The next assumption is from Awesome Piggies, and they said, you have a favorite. I've been over this. No, I do not have favorites. They're all very special and very unique. They also said you had Instagram before YouTube. I think I had YouTube before Instagram. And then I th think I made the Instagram like almost right after I made YouTube. I think that's what happened. Um, they also said you have a YouTube friend. If so, who? Um, I do not have a YouTube friend. Um, if you consider L Little Kingdom, Little Kingdom is actually my sister. Like we're related. Um, if you consider her a YouTube friend, I mean, sure. They also said you don't like doing collabs. I like doing collabs, but I've been doing a lot of them in a row. So if I do like a lot of them in a row, I really don't like doing them. But if it's like spaced out, I don't mind doing them. They also said you are willing to quit YouTube. Um, not anytime soon. I actually enjoy YouTube a lot. It's like my hobby. So the next assumptions are from simply underscore Teddy and they said you like to shop or look for stuff for them online or in a real store but usually won't buy anything if you look online. Um, honestly I have bought most of my guinea pig stuff from online. I shop a lot at Amazon. Go to like Peco sometimes for guinea pig stuff but I noticed online has a lot more guinea pig related things so. That's that. Oh, I also like the dollar store. And they also said, it takes you a while for cage cleaning because you like to perfect it. Yes, I, I sometimes I can clean really quick. Like I, if I need to leave the house or I have something to do, or I, I definitely clean a little quicker. But if like it's the weekend or something, I definitely take my time to perfect it. Especially if it's gonna be in a YouTube video. I, I do like cage cleanings and perfecting them. And they also said, you love the fact that your guinea pigs are awesome in their own and beautiful in their own way. Yes, all my guinea pigs, they all have different personalities like I explained earlier. They're all very special and unique. Um, the next one is you have to buy them food a lot. Um, I used to buy them food a lot because I used to get the, um, KT bags of hay, but recently I realized that that's expensive and I ended up buying them like a 50 pound bulk hay for only like $22 and I, and me and my sister both share it. So it's a lot easier and a lot cheaper. So I buy them veggies every week. So if you consider that. They also said something of your guinea pigs broke and they got really sad. No, I don't think anything of my guinea pigs really broke. They love that oxbow carrot thing, that that chew. And once it's gone, yeah, they, they get kind of upset. The last one is you are a perfectionist when it comes to your piggies. With the Cajun stuff, yes and no. I mean, sometimes it all depends. With the cage, yeah, I can be a perfectionist. Okay, so I am back with Delilah. So the next assumption is from Nas Ventures Nay, and she said, although you love all your piggies a whole lot, you have a favorite, if so, who? Wow, everyone has questions on if I have a favorite. Um, no, <laughs> again, I don't have a favorite. <laughs> and the next assumption is their cages are cleaned before filming. Yes, because I don't think when people are gonna watch a YouTube video, I don't think they really wanna see poop in the cage or like a really messy hay pile poop cage. Like they wanna see like my guinea pigs and a nice clean area. So the next assumptions are from the Creature Notebook and they said, your piggies have destroyed at least one hide. Yes, um, I've given them like the edible hides and of course they've destroyed it. Um, next one is, one of your piggies have bit you before? Okay, here we go. <laughs> Delilah. I adopted Delilah, she was very nippy. Um, she gets very anxious, so she bites, but I don't think she means to bite you. She just like gets really like anxious and startled, things like that. So I've gotten bit from Delilah a couple of times. Um, to the point where it was bleeding, it was, it was, some of them were kind of bad, but she's gotten way better. 
And they also said Reese's is the most dominant. Um, that is not true. Actually, in my cage, um, Dasher's the most dominant out of all of them. But I believe Pebbles comes next. Um, Pebbles likes to be the center of attention, very um, outgoing, almost like in their faces, kind of. So, yeah, Reese's is definitely the last on the on the tier for sure. So the next assumption, Reese's is drinking water again. I don't know if you can hear that. They're just a mess today. <laughs> All right, so the next assumption is from Little Kingdom, and she said, I assume your sister is Little Kingdom. Um, yes. <laughs> if you haven't watched my previous videos, I just did a collab with her. Um, yes, yeah, she's my sister. The next um, assumption is from Little Stars, and she said, you aren't getting any more guinea pigs. Um, no. I honestly think the four that I have is a good amount. I think like sticking with three or four guinea pigs is a good amount. Um, plus my parents, I don't think would let me get any more cause I live under their roof. Um, but yeah, I think four is a good amount to juggle. So the next assumption is from Piggy Time. And she said, you never bought your piggies, you only adopt. Um, that is not true. The only one that I adopted is Delilah. Um, Delilah I adopted from the child care center I used to work at. Um, the rest of them were bought either at Petco or PetSmart. But at that time, I really did wasn't that educated. I really didn't know that you should find guinea pigs in shelters and things like that. And your piggies love pea flakes. Yes, I recently bought my guinea pigs pea flakes. Um, they tried them for the first time and they all go crazy for them. I don't know what it is about pea flakes, but... They love them, their favorite treat. All right, so the next assumption is from Guinea Mom Family Fun, and they said you are be adopted more piggies. I think they mean, are you gonna adopt more piggies? Um, yes, I was just talking about adoption with piggies, so yep. The next assumption is from Truffle85, and they said, you make your own Heidi's because you either don't like the ones that are available or they're too expensive. No, I've bought in all of my Heidi's and I wanted to go shop at Etsy, but they were so expensive. So I have bought in um, a lot of my Heidi's from Amazon and Chewy. Um, they also said Dasher is super sassy, but you love her anyways. Yes, as you can tell when I was holding Dasher, Dasher does not stay still. Um, Dasher can be very sassy, but yes, I love her anyways. Next assumption is at least one of the guineas has escaped the cage and hidden in your room. No, this is not the case. Uh, my cages have always been a little higher up so they can't escape the cage. But I could tell you a story about when I was having floor time. Um, me and my sister combined all the guinea pigs. I don't know, I have the video somewhere in my YouTube channel, but... Um, we were d filming the guinea pigs, all of them eating pumpkin. And my sister, me and my sister were watching like all six, there's six of them. So we we're watching all six of them. And my sister went to get up and do something. And I was watching all of them. And then I, she comes back and I'm like, where's Dasher? So finally we found Dasher under the couch. So they also said Delilah is a total diva. Yes, Delilah is a diva. Um... For sure, she's a very sweet diva. She loves her food. Um, she's always very curious, always very peppy. She's a good girl. Um, they said Pebbles is the chillest skinny pig. Um, when she's sleeping, yes, Pebbles is the chillest when she's sleeping. She's crazy. She um, she runs around and does zoomies a lot. She in the morning she screams at you, like literally screams. Um, to get her pellets. Um, yeah, she is very rambunctious, but I love her. Assumption is Reese's is picky about her food. No, the pickiest eater is this one. Delilah, um, since adopting her, Delilah has tried many different foods and she's definitely the most pickiest. She does not like bell peppers, fun fact. They also said Pebbles weeks the loudest and sets the other piggies off. That is true. As I was just explaining, Pebbles literally screams at you in the morning. Like once, once you wake up from, like she knows that you're awake and she'll scream at you. Last assumption is from Kira's furry friends, and they said, "I assume your piggies are in your room." 
Yes, my piggies are in my bedroom, and I've had a couple of comments about guinea pigs being in your room. And honestly, I've had guinea pigs in my room since I've gotten guinea pigs, really. So the point of them like bothering me at night and things like that, it doesn't bother me. So yeah, that is all of my assumptions, and I hope you enjoyed. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed. Subscribe to my channel for more awesome guinea pig videos. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.